Spring is here and that means fish are hatching and making their way into rivers and streams across West Michigan. A sixth grade class in Paw Paw gave one of their rivers a little push this morning. 13 on your side's Micah Cho joins us in the newsroom now with how they did it and the lessons they learned. Juliet, this whole thing was a learning experience for them every year. The sixth grade science teacher gets over 100 salmon eggs and they raise them and then release them into the Paw Paw River. One by one, more than 100 Chinook salmon made their way into the Paw Paw River Wednesday morning. And it was pretty cool. I learned a lot about our wildlife and I also learned about why it's so important to keep our wildlife safe. The annual release is a project done by the Paw Paw Middle School sixth grade class and teaches the importance of conservation, habitat, and natural resources. This year, the Department of Natural Resources provided 150 salmon eggs to the sixth graders, where they watched them grow, eventually leading them to the river about two miles away from school. Liam Pysik released his early in the morning. We got to see them start from like eggs, and then like we saw them start from fry, then like to like the juvenile sort of state, and then we're probably going to get more next year. Chinook or king salmon are not native to Michigan. They're home to the Pacific Northwest of the United States. But according to the sixth grade science teacher, Kevin Knowles, that's another lesson for the class. The salmon are brought in, in the 1960s actually to combat an invasive species, the alewives from the Atlantic Ocean. So we brought another species in to try to control that. Out of the 150 eggs they received, Ol says they only lost about 11 of them. Soon they'll make their way up the Paw Paw River to continue the circle of life. We let them go into the Paw Paw River hoping that they imprint, they survive, then go out to Lake Michigan and about three years come back and hopefully spawn or reproduce and uh, push up the population in the river so there are more salmon. Now, according to Oles, the next project for the class will be looking at sea lamprey and invasive species that attaches to fish like lake trout in the Great Lakes. They'll be receiving live lamprey from the state and will later dispose of them properly so they don't make it back into the ecosystem. In the newsroom, Micah Cho for 13 on your side.